for the wisdom of St. Ignatius, I've brought you here to what we call Mary's Room. It's a little chapel that we have um, connected to our chapel, uh, the Rossi Chapel, here at um, El Retiro. And I brought you to Mary's Room um, because what we have here on the walls a variety of images of our Blessed Mother. And it uh, is here often that we celebrate um, daily Mass, surrounded by this beautiful sense of um, the presence of the Mother of God here with us in prayer. Um, here we have the, one of the images is the Madonna de la Strada, um, which was the church that was originally given to the Jesuits, a little chapel for them to work in Rome. And then later, um, the Jesu was built there and they preserved this image of Our Lady of the Way um, there in the, in the church. Um, for St. Ignatius, the Blessed Mother was so important um, through visions of the Blessed Mother um, in his conversion. Um, through a vision, um, he, um, he received the grace to turn away from mortal sin for the rest of his life. He'd been a great devotee of mortal sin up until that point, um, and he turned away completely. It was to uh, Montserrat that he went to leave his sword and, and um, to begin a new life. It was in Manresa where other, another vision you know, so consoled and, and helped him in his, um, in his journey. And, um, and throughout his life, he turned often to the Blessed Mother for her help. And when he came to write the spiritual exercises, he insisted that there be the first meditation on the resurrection was a meditation on Jesus appearing to his mother, um, a meditation that's not based in Scripture, where so much of the, 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 the spiritual exercises are based in Scripture. He just could not imagine that that would not have happened. Um, and so for us, as we reflect on St. Ignatius's love for the Blessed Mother, it should inflame within us also a deeper love for her, as his example can touch our lives and our hearts. We don't need St. Ignatius to point out the importance of Mary. I mean, the Church proclaims that all, all the time. But whenever we run into somebody who has a particularly profound devotion to our Blessed Mother, it should inspire us to grow deeper and more, uh, more, more wonderfully into uh, into this um, into this relationship. In fact, during the spiritual exercises, interestingly, interestingly enough, um, often the retreatant is asked to go to the Blessed Mother, ask her to pray and to um, and, and and to receive graces from her son um, during uh, that that one is looking for. And this has been something that's so beautiful um, for me as I've discovered that how those graces that we're asking for, and we go to the Blessed Mother, and then we go to Jesus, and we go to the Father, those graces come to us. Even in a surprising way, I remember one time I was talking to a spiritual director, and I said, this is what I feel. And he got upset at me because he didn't think I should be feeling that. And so then I went back and I, you know, to the spiritual exercise and I read what I had prayed for. And it was exactly what I prayed for, what I was feeling. So the Blessed Mother, Jesus, the Father, had granted me through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, the graces I'd been looking for. And so Ignatius knew that the Blessed Mother loves us and wants to help us. May we turn to her in our need and may we love her in our daily lives and in our prayer this mother of ours, who is the mother of Jesus too. And that's the wisdom of St. Ignatius for today.